why? Why, Mazi, why? Why? Lisa, <laughs> my sister. You have so far. Oh. <laughs> why, Mazi, now? Why? Eh? I, I, I will confess. And I confess, my friend. You are, you are still saying you confess. I will confess. <laughs> I, will, I will confess. Talk now. Look at. Uh, I want to confess. Mazi, will you confess? This is our 100th episode. We have reached 100th episode. We have reached 100th episode. <laughs> this is the 100th episode of Mr. Lawanson Family Show. <laughs> 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. That's the director, the man. Where's the IEP? EP. Where is the EP? I don't know. EP. EP. Oh my God. Wait. Before you continue, you can win on one S bet by betting on only PSG matches. More than 500 winners are going to emerge. Register on one S bet with the promo code AZUBET to get up to 300% bonus on your first deposit. Press take part on the offer page PSG Show. Place bet of at least 1,600 naira on matches featuring Paris Saint Germain and end tickets to take part in prize draws and super draws for each category. You can win laptops, smartphones, game consoles, and PSG matches. Good luck, guys. You can continue watching now. Episode, Episode 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, take 1, take 100. Let's go there. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know where to start from because... Um, being Mr. Lawson is... Um, this is the first comedy series that I will be in my entire 30, over 33 years acting career. Hi guys, my name is Joy Ebuka, aka Agiwa Mama. My name is Alan George, aka aka Black Ginger. Hey guys, it's your boy Prince Bucci, aka Junior. Hey guys, it's your one and only Oriako, Teresa. My name is Mary Rose Emeka. Hi guys, my name is Angel Onigwe and I play Mirabel in the series. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Oladi Adini. I'm playing the role of Titus in Mr. Lawrence Family Show. Uh, Alright guys, um, my name is Oduche CJ, popularly known as IK Bobo, IK Chuku. Alright, my name is Emma Zinduka. Hi guys. My name is Louis Ibukwe. I'm the writer, the director of the Lower Sense Family Show. My favorite episode is the business associates. And my favorite scene was when I became the head of the business. I mean, you needed to see the look on his face. He was so jealous. Your wife is a genius. <laughs> Madam, please, can you come look into our business model and see how you can help us improve it? <laughs> <laughs> now you diversify the amount of the market. I'm dreaming again. Agnes is going to be my boss. 80 people with small money. Bye. What that particular idea was on set, and then when I heard the director shout, and action! I heard. Uh, title was shouting, My head, oh, my head, oh, Scorpio, my head, oh. I can't take that out of my mind. That has been my favorite scene, episode, and season. Right? <laughs> very, very <laughs> soon. <laughs> 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 It is not today. It is not from the television. Eh? Thank you. Ah. 
Auntie, what is your problem now? What, what is it? My favorite scene was the one where Amanda punished me by giving me more food and I had to keep on eating and eating and eating. Like I enjoyed it so so much. Listen, I'm going to make sure you finish all the food in this pot. You want to eat, Abby? You will eat. Okay. Wito, my punishment is finishing all this food. Yes. Funny people. That's your punishment. Dear Lord, please let me punish like this every time. <laughs> Stop running and start eating, Joe. Eat. We want food, Abby. You eat today. So my favorite scene was the scene where um, Maz's wife gifted him a keke, but he didn't actually know it was actually a keke. He thought it was a jeep, as she said. Yeah, it was a really funny scene, and yeah, you can catch me almost laughing, as I'm always laughing. That's it. Yeah. Very, very good. Hey! Very? Eh? What's it? There's the Jeep. Ah, ah. Look at the Jeep here now. <laughs> is the Jeep inside the keke? Ah, ah. The keke is the Jeep. Hey! <laughs> Mazi, congratulations. <laughs> My chief, all your congratulations. Yeah. This woman have a plan. Eh? How can you look at a red cap chief like me and you buy, buy, buy me keke na pepe? Ah, ah. Mazi. Eh? Down on this keke, oh. uh -huh. eh? You are looking down on this keke. This is multi-purpose keke. Thank you. You can do what your enjoyment inside the keke, and also do commercial purpose. Uh -huh. This is multi-purpose. Teresa. Jeep, oh. Multi-purpose book well. Jesus. Multi-purpose the world, Ah. Look on the bright side, though. Hey. You my um, um, auntie, auntie Mirabel. You look on the dark side. My favorite scene so far is the scene where Mazi kidnapped himself and i was left alone in my house enjoying my peace in fact those were the best moments of my life if he can just continue kidnapping himself i think i'll feel okay and better <laughs> hello Teresa, listen at exactly 8 a.m this morning i kidnapped myself and took myself to an unknown location eh? if you wish to see me again I want you to deposit the sum of 20 million naira into the account I will forward to you now. Who is this? It's Mazi. Which Mazi? Mazi, your husband now. Nah? Are you playing? What type of plane is this? I, this is playing. Mazi. Hey, Teresa, what is in your mouth? Are you eating? Yes, so. Eh? I'm eating um, rice and chicken. My favorite scene is my introductory scene. What? Don't move. I kill it. I mean, it was epic in the. I bet it with English. <laughs> it was epic with the entrance of the. It was so epic. Don't. It was epic. Epic. Thank you. My papa, house boy. Him papa, house boy. Him papa, house boy. Him papa, slave. House boy, slave. Okay, so you are a born slave. Oh, guy, do our blood. If you don't do our, we go die. I see. Yeah, I understand. This is nice. This is nice. You didn't do badly at all. Okay, wait. Hmm? Huh? Mosquito. Where? Where? Don't move! I will kill it. Kill? What are you killing? Wait, Jesus! 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 Wait. The best scene. The best thing has to be when we, when Ike Chuko and Mazi were delivering um, this mad boy and he turned out to be a very, very mad person and he beat Mazi and chased all of us away. So that, that was my best thing. Yeah. 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 
I tell me I don't want to shoot on you. I don't want to. Hey, I don't want to go to the toilet. I don't want to shoot on you. I want. I don't want to shoot on you. No, I will not shoot on you. I don't. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, no, 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 hey, no, 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 my favorite scene is collecting my wife. I like the scene. That, in fact, that thing is not a scene. It's not a scene. God, for, God does not even count it as sin. Right, my favorite scene is the scene where um, I became the the area commander of security. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite scene. That, in fact, that's even my favorite episode. I'm introducing the head of this vigilante. Make way for the general commander of this vigilante, Mazi Odosi Obodo. Mazi Duka can never be the head of our vigilante group. Huh? One dance, you are never. Eh? Move out! Eh? Move! Eh? Move! Yeah. I said move! I move! Mm. Mr. Azu. Is there anybody here that still thinks that Mazi is not capable of being the leader of this vigilante group? <laughs> it is very uh, apparent that you are the man for the job now. Eh? There's no question. Still, that you're appointed. <laughs> General Vazi! Mazi! General Vazi! Mazi! 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 Come on! Turn! General Vazi! Mazi, can I go through? My JJ, man, My favorite scene, I have a whole lot of favorite scene because. Uh, most of these things actually play out in my head, uh, so I have like loads of it. But the one that came to my mind, the one I can actually recall now, is about the the one they did about the gold digger. They are selling old work clocks, and then so Ike Chuku now uh, decided to sell Mr. Lawrence's old work clock. So when he's coming out with it. Uh, Lawrence asked him where he's going with the work clock. He said he wants to throw it away. Ask him why. He said because uh, the clock is useless. So his reply took me out. The man said, "If you are throwing away things that are useless in this house, do you think you still be living here?" Hey, 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 you go? Go? Uh, come, 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 come back here. Where are you going with my clock? Okay. Um, I want to throw it away. Why? Uh, it's useless now. Yeah. Okay, Chico. Hey. If we start throwing away things that are useless in this house, you think you will still be living here? Yeah! 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 With every new season, every new episode, it's just amazing. It's very hard for me to say this is my favorite episode. I have so many, in fact, almost all of them are. I was trying to just flash back now, I remember some. I remember the Moin Moin scene, where, you know. I mean, all of our old episodes, you know, where we had the Moin Moin. And, <laughs> and then the, the uh, episode where we did the reverse, where, you know, Agnes was now playing husband and I was now playing wife and everything. Every time asking for money, asking for money. Money for this, money for that. Do you people think I, I, I did money ritual? Do I look like I, I did blood ritual or, or, or do I resemble a nanny sacrifice or can I? That people think that, think that you'll, be, you'll be worrying me. See, eh? anybody, yeah, from now on, you need money, go and ask your mother. Come. There's no, 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 there's no problem. Consider this as a handover ceremony right now. Right now, hmm? I am officially handing over the breadwinner position to you. Hey, Agnes, take it up. Anybody that needs money from now on, ask madam. So, daddy, you are saying that you don't want to be head of house again? Ah, is it by force? Is it by force? I said I don't want to be head of house again. Even inside the big, big, big brother house, it is one week, seven days they used to do head of house. Me, I've been doing my own head of house for 15 years. Neck is paining me. I'm not doing it again. Bam. Her name. <laughs> don't, hmm. hon don't honey him there so, so, that, so that God will not honor him you. Okay. Do you hear me? Don't honor him, honor, honor, honor him there. From now on, you are the breadwinner. 
and it's really crazy always when i had to fight for agnes and compete with one stupid athlete that said he was going to because he's a runner one silver medal bruise or what did he win and everything like that see eh? Hey, 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 you me and you to a race in three days what yeah. what is what i said i'm challenging you to a race you want to challenge me to a race yes i am challenging you already 800 meters me and you and the winner we go home with Agnes. Eh? Mm. Arsenal again, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Mm. But you know that I am an Olympic silver medalist, right? <laughs> Is it not somebody that won gold? Eh? No, because of the way they are peddling at this Olympic silver, 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 silver. What would you, the person that won, that won gold, do? Eh? Does, does that one have four legs? Does he? Okay. Challenge accepted. Uh -huh. Thank you. No problem. That is how Agnes have turned to go though. <laughs> Chief go! Chief go! Chief go! Chief go! Chief go! Hey! 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 Chief go! Chief go! You have your arm capacity. Chief go! Chief go! Chief, go! Chief, don't come back! Chief, don't come back! Hey! I, I didn't really start from the first season. I joined up, I think it was the third or fourth season that I joined. But to the glory of God today, we are doing the 100th episode. We have a beautiful team and we've become a family over the years. Yes, some people have dropped along the way. I have to like give a special shout out to my first wife, my first Agnes, I have to give a special shout out to her. She's not here. Uh, and the reason is because she had to relocate from Nigeria. In case a lot of you were wondering, some of you would have known she relocated from Nigeria. You know, she jackpa. You know, stupid woman, she jackpa leave me for here. It's all right, we'll settle down later. You know, but I have to give a special shout out to our first Agnes. You know, I think we must all agree that she did an excellent job. And uh, of course, uh, also to my second and new and current Agnes as well, who is also giving a very good account of herself. So I'm a blessed man. I've had two Agnes's, two wives. <laughs> so it's been a joy and a wonderful ride from the first episode to the 100th episode. You guys have been there for us and we are so grateful. There's nobody normal in this production. That's the first thing I need to see. And then you are, you, are, you are in the wrong place. Do you understand? Can we imagine Oriaku saying she's normal? Queen Mother is normal. <laughs> Everybody has been amazing. Is it from Ima, you know, to uh, Ginger that has no ginger, you know, to our amazing camera guys. You know, we are, these guys fly from PH, they come down. Then we have some that join them from Lagos, but especially I want to give a special shout out, shout out to. The cameraman that has been a constant. I think I think he was with us from the beginning. The oldest crew member here. I think still present. The one and only Sensei CBK. He's been, I think he deserves a round of applause. As in the amazing picture, the amazing end product you are seeing. It's CBK and the team. I really want to appreciate them. The sound guys. I mean, they've been wonderful. They've been wonderful. our makeup. You know, our wardrobe people, Abiola, all of them, they've been wonderful, they've been performing, they've been fantastic. And our welfare person, they've been beautiful. Especially this, the, the last season and this season. You don't get to sit down on camera, but we've been eating fantastic food on Mr. Lawansen. So if you see some people putting on weight, that is the reason. You understand? Yes, yes, yes. We have to give it to our EP for that. I mean, the welfare was fantastic. Because this is comedy we are doing. We have to be happy. If you are not happy, we cannot make you happy. I think uh, I have to make a revelation now because... Femi Branch was actually the first person we casted for the Lawansen family show as Mr. Lawansen. Well, the first person we casted um, last minute he got uh, something came up, so he has to leave the show. And then that was two days to shoot, and we have already postponed it like twice, so we can't postpone again. So we we needed uh, a replacement. So somebody suggested Film Branch. We got his number. We called him. He was at airport. He said he could call us back. So later in the night, I was like, no way, this man is going to call us back. The man is big, and he can't just be calling. So I was surprised that he called back and he explained everything. 
he asked for the date of the shoot, told him it's two days, in <laughs> two days time, so he laughed and as if he actually is being serious. One of my biggest challenges is um, having to use scripts to, um, to work because um, my career, my whole career, I've not used to using script. In fact, sometimes when you give script, I just look at it and then tell that okay, I'll do. But on this set, you have to do what the script says before you add whatever you want to add. And so I'm always having that um, decision, standing in the center of that decision. Should I add this in? Is the director going to say cut or not? You know, that's a big challenge for me. And that'd be a very wonderful ride. Uh, Obviously, no production, no production on the surface of the earth comes without one challenge or the other. We faced challenges here and there, and I think one of the challenges we actually face here is to deal with the kind of environment we find ourselves, you know. Uh, basically, you have to do independent production, particularly on your own, as much as this part of the world is concerned. You have to fend for yourself. Uh, individually without external force and support. I thank God for the production anyway. If not for that, it has been uh, the production fending for itself. So those external uh, efforts or push you get outside the circle of the production is really not available. Challenges, challenges, challenges you have so whole lots of challenges uh, coming up, coming up uh, Try to actually. I think the biggest challenge was this is one because we don't actually know what we are doing. We just we just want to make a sitcom. We have no idea. And so finally, I'd like to um, appreciate our director um, who put all of us together. Okay, before before I director, I, did, I didn't acknowledge Ivy. Our continuity person. She's gonna hold me because she is also with us from. Right from way back, she's been with us as well, so she's also another old team member. Fantastic. So, let me now move on to our fantastic director. You know, he's the one that brought everybody here together, this entire team. I don't know, he wrote, he's also the writer and he's the director. So, I did. I think he did an amazing job with the casting, don't you think so? Yes. You understand? So, I mean, he's, 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 he's been phenomenal. Like I said, every episode, and I'm sure you guys would agree with me that every episode, there's always more craziness, more madness. He's not normal. We're praying for him. Because it is not possible for a normal person to be writing all these things that people are seeing. So special shout out to our director, Mr. Louis Ibokwe. If you want to step up. I know you might still do your own, but I want you to just step into the frame right now. You know, we just want to do a special appreciation for our director. You know, this young man, this young man has been doing fantastically well. He's excellent, he's resilient, he's very creative. And I know that the sky is not your limit, it's just the beginning for you. So I'm looking forward to you doing all those fantastic Netflix series, Netflix fantastic, you know, going to Amazon and everything. So we're looking to see you up there. Okay, look, so watch out for Louis Ibukwe, okay? So special presenting to our EP as well. I want to thank you guys, especially the audience, for staying with us. I travel to different places. It's amazing the reach of Mr. Lawanson. I travel to different places. The one that blew my mind the most was when I went to Ghana and from the airport. I was just saying, somebody was there, I just said, Mr. Lawanson. And I, I was like, ah, Abi, I never come on Nigeria. Okay, uh, opportunity they say comes but once. This is the opportunity for me to behave like an artist. So let me do the way they used to do their thing. Which camera will I look at? This one or this one? <laughs> yes, yes, yo, this is your boy Black Ginger. No, I'm not an artist, I'm a production manager, but I have learned from them, right? And particularly want to appreciate you out there, uh, the fans. In fact, I will not even refer to you, to you people as fans. I will call you people a family. Because you've been with us from the first episode till 99 later, and now we've gotten to 100. It's a 100 episode and we are happy to be here. We are grateful for our fans worldwide, not just in Nigeria, not just in Kenya, not just in Africa, the whole world, we have a whole lot of fans everywhere. We love our Nigerian fans, we love our Kenyan fans, we love our Ghanaian fans, Indian, UK, US, Canada, all over the world. We appreciate you guys, you guys are the best. 
Thank you and keep watching. All our fans all over the world, in the UK, in the US, in Canada, in Australia, in Asia, we want to thank you guys for sticking with us. I want to say, you ain't seen nothing yet. If you think you have seen madness, trust me, we are still booting. It takes, it takes love to do this. It doesn't take fans to do this. It takes family members and friends to do this. So this is us appreciating you from the office of the production manager and every other members of the crew we want to say a very big thank you for being with us. Like I always say, we are here because you are there. So thank you. Special shout out to our Kenyan fans. Okay, our fans in Trinidad and Tobago. You understand? In Haiti. You understand? So we don't reach where we never reach. You understand? Uh, we don't travel reach Haiti. We never reach Haiti. But we don't reach there. So our fans in Uganda, in Kenya, in Trinidad and Tobago, in Haiti, in Ghana, in Madagascar. Wow. You guys, we love you. We appreciate you. We are here because you guys are there and you are loving and appreciating us. Watch out for more, 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 more madness. God bless you. Thank you so much, guys, for watching Mr. Allowance Family Show. Keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and keep sharing to your loved ones, and keep telling your loved ones to share to other people and their other friends so we can all enjoy this series together. Thank you.